What's going on guys, Mike here, and today we're going to be going over how to upload a text file or a notes file to your Casio FX CG10 calculator. Alright, so the first step that you're going to want to do is just plug in the device to a laptop or computer uh, by the cable provided. As you can see here up top, I have the device plugged in. When you plug in, you're going to be prompted with a prompt that wants you to select what type of uh, connection mode you want to enter, and you want to enter a USB flash, so that's option F1. So as you put in F1, it's going to prepare the USB, it's going to load up, and it's, the device is now going to be recognized by a laptop. Alright guys, now so with the device connected to the laptop or computer, uh, you're going to open up your basically your file explorer on Windows uh, 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. Uh, it also works for XP, any really Windows OS. Um, I'm just showing you guys with Windows 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now, with the file explorer open, you want to go into devices and drives. You're going to see your uh, calculator Casio FX CG10 pop up right here. Uh, it does, it's not necessarily going to be the D drive, uh, but from in my case it is. Uh, that's what Windows happened to label it. So you're going to open up the D drive in my case, or whatever uh, letter drive it labeled uh, your calculator, and you're going to want to jump in to the at main mem folder. Now once you're in that at main mem folder, you're going to want to open the program folder. From here, you're going to see a most likely blank folder in your case. Uh, I was already messing around with it a little bit, uh, so I have a test file here. So once you're in this uh, program folder uh, in the directory of at main mem, you're going to want to right click in the blank space and click new. From here, you're just going to select a text document, and you're going to want to label it whatever you want to call it. You can call it math notes or financial notes or finance notes or whatever you want to really call it. Uh, I'm just going to label it math test or actually I'll label it math notes now I'm gonna open up this math notes uh, text document and you're going to be presented with a blank uh, text document uh, and from here obviously you guys can basically uh, tell what we're gonna do here this is just a test obviously so you can type in whatever you'd like now from the past I actually changed the font to be a little bit smaller uh, it happens to help a little bit just because uh, when you're on the calculator, the display is not as large, obviously, as you know a laptop or you know a phone or anything. So you're gonna want to lower that text down to about eight, which is most reasonable for the calculator to read uh, on that screen or that display. Uh, so like I said, I'm just gonna put this as a test: uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And basically, I'm just gonna save this now by hitting Control S, or you can hit File Save. So now I'm gonna close the document. I'm going to go into uh, my file explorer again, and I'm just going to eject the drive. For some reason, it usually gives me an error when I'm ejecting. Uh, I still eject it anyway, just to be safe. And now you're going to be presented on your calculator by saying, it's going to be saying, updating memory. And sometimes it does give you a message that's saying, would you like to overwrite this file? I usually hit yes, as if it's a new file. And now we're going to re-jump over to the calculator so you guys can see what's going on over there. Alright guys, so as you can see here, once you eject the uh, device, the calculator, uh, it's going to say it's updating the memory, and then it's going to give you a complete message. Uh, now, I'm going to exit this prompt, or you guys should also exit this prompt once you're prompted with it. And you're going to want to go back to your main menu. And now once you're at this main menu, you want to find this file, obviously, so you can view it and, uh, you know, use it actually to your advantage. So now what you're going to want to do is select the program file or application on this calculator. And now, for some reason, like I said, guys, it, it made me rename uh, this this text file to math uh, or one letter word. I don't know if it was because the space with the math space notes. I don't know if it wasn't just allowing that, but it wasn't really a big deal. It just prompted me when I was ejecting it. Uh, so all I do is I'm going to run this math uh, file here that I have. And now right away, it's going to give you a syntax error. It's not a big deal at all. All you're going to do is exit that message. And voila, here you go. It is your notes that you... Uh, put onto your uh, computer, or sorry, that you made in that text file to put onto your calculator. Like I said, it looks a little, you know, a little messed up as far as the spacing and whatnot goes, but it is definitely a, uh, a useful thing to have on this calculator. It really bails you out in certain situations. Now, just something to note, every space that you have here uh, it does have a little arrow, it kind of just represent the space. Uh, but it's no big deal at all guys. Uh, it really really does help like I said it bails you on a lot of situations 
You can put vocabulary on here. You can just put about just about anything. So I really highly do recommend this, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video today and have a good rest of your day.